Master of Ceremonies, the Chairman and members of the Lambasa District Youth Council, our good uh, sponsor, I'd also like to acknowledge his presence here. Government officials, my good friend, uh, Mr. Tiwan, the youths of uh, Lambasa, ladies, gentlemen, brothers and sisters, at the outset, uh, I would like to thank the chairman and the members of the Lambasa District Youth Council for this invitation. And I would also like to thank my friend here for the welcome song. It is an honor to be here this evening, and I thank the organizers for their kind words of welcome. A suitcase for the Youth Awards. I'm proud to be here in the capacity as the Minister for Youth, among my other portfolios. It means a lot to me to take on this portfolio. It is often repeated that the youth are our future. Oh, that they are the leaders of tomorrow. Dear youth, ladies and gentlemen, I also acknowledge that. However, I am also interested in programs and civil society organizations that provide pathways to that tomorrow. It is not the destination, but the journey that then the youths take to get to that tomorrow that is of more significance to me. It is the journey of this youth amongst us, facilitated by the Lambasa Youth Club, that provide these pathways to becoming leaders of tomorrow. It is their work and their youth whom we are honoring this evening and who will become the future of Fiji. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to congratulate all of them in our Israel manner. At this juncture, I acknowledge the hard-working chair and members and representatives of the Lambasa District Youth Council for organizing the Youth Awards Night. Let us also acknowledge the Lambasa youth officials for their hard work and contribution. I just heard your chairman saying that uh, they have plans for programs, small scale programs. I must assure him, and I think it is also right and proper for me <coughs> to say this to you, that there are government grants where you can access for the projects that you have just mentioned. And I would like to see that your district youth council uh, applies to the ministry, which is based here in Lambasa, so that we can look into it. You must have heard that last week in Parliament I made an announcement that we're going to have a national youth conference. Before, we used to have divisional youth workshops. We have changed that and we're going to have a national youth conference whereby all the youths throughout the country comes under one roof and discuss their problems. And we will be there as government to listen to your problems. We want to know what are your problems. It's not only about playing football and rugby. There is more to it. Because let's not forget 
that 70% of our population is 48 and below. So in the next few years, it will be a very young nation. Fiji will be a very young nation. And we all will depend on our youths. So as a government, we need to be prepared. And this is exactly what we are doing. We want to hear from our youths throughout the country what their needs are. And this youth conference will be in Suba uh, in March for three days. And I extend my invitation to the members of the Lambasa District Youth Council to attend this. So that you can hear what the youths of Suba's demand is. So that you can hear what are the needs of Nendi youths. What are the needs of Rotoka youths. And I hope to see all of you in a few weeks' time in Suba. This event is a major undertaking that is made possible only by efforts of each of you. Working individually in a concerted team to organize, promote, and host this awards night. To the Lambasa Youth Council and its members, you make a genuine difference. Your government recognizes your generosity, efforts, and contribution to your northern community. It has had a profound and lasting impact on the lives of young people of Lambasa. Your willingness to share both your time and efforts and talents through youth engagements and various youth programs and projects says a lot about each of you as young citizens of Fiji. You have also raised about your office space. I have just asked the manager North to look into it. If they can accommodate you people in the Lambasa office, they will have to do it. So that you can save that rent that you are paying and use that for a better cause. Your willingness to give your time to the youths and others in your community speaks volume to both your strength and the quality of your character. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji signs when our youths participate and contribute in your community. They are making a commitment to share that most of resources time to make life better for those who are in need. To the youths of Lambasa, while I know that you have chosen to be volunteers without expectation of being recognized or rewarded, but tonight we honor your contribution through these awards. These awards are not the destination, but milestone on your journey. Look on these awards not as the end of that journey, but like milestone, simply a measure to the next level of contribution and leadership. I personally want to let you know how much your dedication is appreciated. I believe this was supposed to be organized last week. Uh, I had a uh, commitment, earlier commitment, so I requested the organizing committee to defer, and they have deferred for tonight. So I want to thank you for that. And I look forward, as the Minister, to work with the Lambasa District Youth Council. Ladies and gentlemen, Fiji First Government is committed to the development of young Fijians through the Ministry of Youth and Sports. As one of the lead agencies in this area, we have put in place programs to ensure that development is all-inclusive. It has to be inclusive. And I would like to urge the Lambasta District Youth Council to have a mixture of membership. It is very important, and I urge you 
to work towards that. So that next year when we meet, we have everybody together under one roof. Our government's priority is to ensure that no one is left behind, whether by grants, financial support, employment, training, or any other means. This is exactly what I was saying before, that there are grants up to $5,000 where you can access for these small scale projects that you intend to do. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to announce, as I mentioned earlier on, this is for the media, that we will have our national youth conference in Suva. And I would like you to make a lot of awareness on this. Please take this as my personal invitation because it is important that we need to listen and hear your voice. I encourage you all to attend and I look forward to seeing you there. And the contact person, if you are interested, is manager now. Contact me. To all the awardees, I can congratulate you all. As I said earlier on, that these awards are a testament to the excellent work you all have been doing to prepare youth development. Through your work, you also advocating government's youth initiative and making our society an equal society for all Fijians. And here I must acknowledge the work that you have been doing because these are some of the works that the Ministry of Youth is supposed to do. But you have come in with no cause to assist government. And I want to thank you as Minister. I've been told that all the youth that have the membership with the Lambasa District Youth Council are all volunteers. And I would like to acknowledge that. As stakeholders for and of the youth of Fiji, it is important that we work together as one. Please know that your work and contribution will be recognized, appreciated, valued, and cherished. We thank you and look forward to the continuing to work with you in future. Before what we have seen and observed, <laughs> that we form youth clubs within our community and then meet maybe once in a month or in three months time, that's it. There is more to you. I can tell you that much. Some 20 years back I was very actively involved in the youth movement. And I know the demand and the work that is needed if you are actively involved. But then again, you need directions. And that is where the Ministry of Youth and Sports official Baisi and Lambasa needs to address that. And after the formalities, I will take some time out to have a Talano session with the youths. I want to hear from you what you have to say about yourself. What are your needs? What are your views on taking other youths forward? So we will have it there during our Talano session. Once again, my congratulations to the Chair and the members of the Lambasa District Youth Council for organizing this awards night. I thank the lovely audience here tonight. I'd like to thank all of you for your patience and attention here tonight. And with these few words, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would like to thank you once again. And please enjoy the rest of the evening. Inaka, and thank you.
and Best uh, Youth Club Administrator Award. Let's give them a big round of applause for the and uh, Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a big hand to Nasir Uzzul Club. From our Honorable Minister. Ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, give a big hand again to Munibuta Yutko Sanana for the wonderful work they have done. Ladies and gentlemen, for your information, they are now doing a very big water project in their village that will benefit more than 50 households. So for that, we thank them once again with a big round of applause. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Lions Club of Lopasa Volunteer of the Year Award 2018, Morambay Shadil. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now we are left with the just and the Honorable Minister to present the award to our Youth of the Year 2018, Mr. Shivendra Tassar. Let's give a big hand to our Youth of the Year 2018, Mr. Shivendra Tassar. Thank you, Honorable Minister.